reached the point where I can't put it off any longer. Today, I cut my knitting. So I had four pairs of socks to knit in order to complete this box after a five year epic working on it. Um, I have knit three of those pairs and I have one more pair left to knit but I will be knitting that later in the year because I'm going to knit it out of the West Yorkshire Spinners Christmas 2024 colourway and that's not released until sort of autumn time. However, even completing that West Yorkshire Spinner sock wouldn't get me up to 24 pairs. In order to get up to 24 pairs... I have to cut my knitting. So a wonderful viewer, upon hearing um, about this particular odyssey that I was taking on, um, sent me a pair of socks. And as you can see, they are already knitted and they are absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Um, and they just need a heel put in. And I'm sorry, Anna, that it's taken me this long. But look at them, look at them. And they're so squishy because they've got this really nice rib across the top, so they're lovely and squishy. The texture is amazing. And I've got to put a hole in them. She also sent this mini skein to match the cuffs and toes. There's a bit of a sparkle in it. It's gonna look lovely. But in order for it to look lovely, I have to do the unthinkable. I have to cut my knitting. Just a bit like, what do you mean I have to cut my knitting? Um, but I am going to do it because this is a um, brand new thing to try. I'm gonna be adventurous and it's gonna turn out fine. And I only wear them for like a day every year. They're going in my Christmas box of socks. So if I um, bum it up a lot, it's okay. Everything will be fine. So with all that being said, the time has come, my friends, to actually do my very first afterthought heel. But first, to the research. I've got everything I, I need. I, I guess I understand the theory, but you know what? I am the kind of learner that, um, that needs to just do it. I'm just gonna give it a bash. We're just gonna go for it. So I guess I'm just gonna go and grab some needles and some scissors. I think I've picked up the stitches in the right place. I measured the foot from the tip of the toe according to sizing that I found on a New Leaf Design blog. I'll link the videos and the blogs that I used just down below. Um, I also compared that placement to where the heel on one of my completed socks that fits pretty well. Um, I compared it to that and they, they tally up. So now that I've done that, now I just, now I just cut? Now I just cut my knitting? Really? Okay. So apparently I only I only cut one stitch in the middle of my row. I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Okay. I have scissors. And it says I have to cut in the middle of the row. This is just so this oh. It just feels so wrong. Deep breath. Did that actually, oh, I didn't even cut. <laughs> okay, I've done it. Oh my God. Okay, okay, I've done it. I've done it. And now, now I just have to unravel. How do I unravel it? How do I? What's the best thing? What, what is she using in the picture? She's using just a little... Everything feels too chonky to unravel, so I'm gonna use a needle. Yes, 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 yes! <gasps> Look at that! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm nearly... I'm nearly to this end. Oh, that's so weird. Oh my God, that's so strange. That. There we go. We have 
a hole in my knitting. I have the other half of the pickup to do, so I'm just going to unpick that now. So I've made a little boo-boo here where I obviously should have been picking up these stitches and I picked up the row below. So yeah, I need to, to make sure I'm not dropping these stitches as I unravel. What I think I'm gonna do is just put them on a stitch marker and then pick them up afterwards. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Go, I'm gonna pull it through and then I'm just gonna pick up the stitch so that I don't drop it and then I'll, I'll go through and pick it up. Afterwards. Okay, so I've unpicked everything. These are just the stitches where I picked up the row below instead of the correct row um, because sometimes I can be a bit dopey like that. So I'm just going to pick them up properly now. Do you know what? This actually, this actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like I've made this little error um, and I now can't get the little green stitch up. Come on! Um, I've made this little error. And that's okay, but, I mean, I suppose the proof is in the pudding. I'm, I'm probably speaking too soon when I go, that was fine. That wasn't a problem. Shush, like, let me not jinx it. Let me not jinx it. Okay. I can't believe I've done this. There is a, there is a gaping hole in my knitting. Which is not, which is not great, is it? Honestly, I think I might need a magnum. Okay, well, as you can see, I have done my two rows of plain in this lovely sparkly beige, and I now pretty much work it like a toe until it's finished. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put this in my bag, I am going to grab my headphones, continue listening to a podcast, and go and sit in the park with a magnum and then do a little bit of work on this. I am just back from the park. I am quite warm. I had a magnum, as you saw. Um, I forgot to take my antihistamine, so I didn't stay out as long as I meant to, but I am back. I am going to do a couple of tours. I'm gonna to put the washing on and change the bed sheets, which is my usual Sunday morning chore, which I didn't get to, so I'm doing Sunday evening. Um, and then I'm going to make a curry. And I will probably stick on a film possibly The Hating Game, because I really like that film. And then just finish up this heel. 24 hours later. I cannot believe that I'm just sat here, I'm listening to a podcast. Um, sorry, you can't even see me. Um, I'm sat here and I'm listening to a podcast and I'm just casually picking up stitches. I'm going to snip this. I'm going to unpick it. Guys, I've put this off for about four years. I think Anna sent them to me in 2020. I'm sure it was during a lockdown. So it was either 2020 or 2021. I have put this off for years. I was so intimidated. I was so scared. Just goes to show, you should just do things. Perfect. Guess I better get cutting. We'll put that down. Um, I'm I'm just put a hole in my knitting. Look at that. It's just so funny that like 24 hours ago I hadn't. Well, 24 hours ago I had done it, but you, you know. Um, yesterday I'd never done this, and now I feel so confident in it. It's just such an easy, straightforward thing to do that I'm just sat here in the corner of my sofa 
casually cutting open my knitting and I'm just going to bung a heel in. The thing is that I knew, I knew that it would be straightforward. I knew the theory, like, you know, I know I watched some stuff yesterday, but I knew the theory, you know, you cut your knitting, you, um, I mean, you pick up the stitches, then you cut the knitting and then you just knit a heel in and the heel is like a toe. I knew that, I knew that. And it was just the thing of like, oh God, what if I get it wrong? You know? And I didn't, I didn't get it wrong and it's fine. And I'm now going to knit my second heel in. So that's exciting. One week later. Hello friends. I have finished the project. Ta-da! There they are, two beautiful afterthought heels. So yeah, I, as you saw, I freaked out slightly um, on my first one. I don't actually know if this was the first one. Um, but then as soon as I picked it up and started knitting, I was like, oh, kind of kind of easy um, and I took it out and I uh, went to the park and worked on it a bit and I finished it um, I think that evening I can't actually remember um, and then the other one I was so chill about the process I just cut into it and worked on it while I was watching TV one evening just by the light of my little lamp um, so I didn't need like the f oh that's the bus going past so I because I knew what I was doing I didn't feel like oh my god I need the full sunshine to be able to see um, I can't believe I did it I cannot believe that I not only that I did it but that I waited so long to do it I am so so glad this is the quickest addition to my Christmas box of socks and it brings me to the sort of finale for now of the Christmas box of socks um, because I can't knit another pair the last pair until later this year when 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 West Yorkshire Spinners releases their Christmas 2024 colorway but now that you've seen them I think we need to see how they fit one thing I'm not going to do is show me putting them on because I did this like foot mask ahead of my holiday and um, it's not good guys it's it's not good so I'm gonna pull them on and I'm gonna save you that they fit pretty perfectly I'm so happy with the placement of the heel they fit so well this is really putting those yoga skills to the test um, but yeah they fit on both sides one of them I had to measure the other one I just lined up As it turns out it's actually really hard to show off socks but as you can see they do fit <laughs> hello bubba but they do fit they do fit i promise <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna show off my christmas box of socks <laughs> they do fit there's the heel and there's the second heel they're looking good I promise to try and figure out how to actually show off socks before I show off my entire Christmas box. Thank you so much for joining me um, as I do something as terrifying as cut my knitting. If you have made it this far, I would really like to ask a little favor. I have an online following and it's a small following, but it is a following nonetheless. And I believe that we should use whatever influence we have for the betterment of the world. And sometimes that's for entertainment purposes like this video, which I hope put a smile on your face. Um, and sometimes it's to do a little bit more than that. Now we all know what is going on in Gaza right now and I am not here to give any political opinions, but what I am here to say is that I think we can all agree that this is a humanitarian crisis. And if you are able to, please, please, please check out Operation Olive Branch. If you can donate anything to help a family out of Gaza, that would be fantastic. However, it is a really expensive time and not all of us have the spare cash to be able to do that. So if you do feel compelled, if you do feel strongly, just to let you know in case you didn't, 
you can also write to your local MP. MPs are there to represent us, you can make your voice and your opinions known to them. So that is something to consider and you can use writetothem.org, I think it is, I'll link it down below. If you don't know who your local MP is or if you want something really straightforward um, to do it for you, that is a fantastic website. Hopefully I won't do what I did last time and just pick up some random stuff. I knew it, I knew it. You love yarn. You really, really love needles. That. But. Budger in my life. Thank you. <laughs>